In June 2020, this study from the peer-reviewed medical literature on bone fractures in vegans from the Epic Oxford study looking at a cohort of British vegans, the second largest study of vegans in human history, found that British vegans have higher rates of bone fractures. This is something we need to be taking very seriously. It is worth noting though that in the original Epic Oxford study, researchers found that when vegans were getting more than 525 milligrams of calcium a day, they did not have higher rates of bone fractures. Frustratingly, the plant foods that contain some of the highest amounts of calcium actually have the lowest absorption rate due to oxalates. And so many vegans who consume large amounts of spinach, for example, think that they're getting enough calcium when in fact they're not. Taking in enough calcium on a whole food plant-based diet actually takes a bit of careful planning. So let's hear from Brenda Davis, a registered dietitian, on how to get enough calcium on a plant-based diet. So how can we get enough calcium? So we see uh, calcium in uh, legumes. We see it in dark green leafy vegetables and broccoli and almonds and tofu and figs, chia seeds and sesame tahini and molasses. So we want to also select calcium fortified non-dairy milks and other foods possibly with added calcium. Uh, it's a lot easier to get your thousand or 1200 milligrams of, of calcium a day if you use a cup or two of fortified soy milk or almond milk or whatever because these milks provide about 300 to 450 milligrams per cup so one or two servings will get you to about six to nine hundred milligrams without doing anything else so it just makes meeting needs very very simple and I wanted to illustrate this by showing you a child menu with a thousand milligrams of calcium so they're eating tiny little amounts but we're still getting the thousand milligrams of calcium so oatmeal with berries uh, a cup of fortified milk and a tablespoon of chia seeds and then they have a whole grain muffin for a snack and then a peanut butter and banana wrap for lunch with some you know veggies and cashew dip and then for for a snack they have a smoothie that includes a cup of fortified non-dairy milk and then dinner is black beans quinoa and broccoli and some chocolate pudding made with non-dairy milk and they're at the thousand milk so it's, it's not that difficult to achieve. I want to talk just very briefly about calcium bioavailability because this is really important. We actually absorb about 32% of the calcium from dairy products. And that's, that's a reasonable amount. We absorb almost that much. It's about 31%, but it's about the same from tofu that's made with calcium. We actually absorb about 20 to 25 or 30% from things like sweet potatoes, legumes, soy milk. But the foods we absorb the most calcium from are low oxalate greens. So things like broccoli, kale, Chinese greens, turnip greens, mustard greens, we absorb about 40 to 60 percent of the calcium from those foods. And of course, those foods are also sources of, of vitamin K and magnesium and potassium and vitamin C and all of these other nutrients that are so critical to bone health. Greens that are high in oxalates, we absorb very very little calcium from those foods. So spinach, beet greens, Swiss chard are really good examples of that. And, and we might absorb five, maybe 10% in some of these. And calcium is bound to oxalic acid and so it isn't available for absorption. Now, some people have asked me, well, what if I make a salad with spinach and kale? Will the spinach prevent the absorption of the calcium from the kale? And the answer is no, there's enough calcium in the spinach to take care of the oxalates that are there. Now, there are factors that inhibit calcium absorption and negative impact comes from oxalates or phytates. And so these things we need to be aware of. Phytates are concentrated in wheat bran. So you don't want to be sprinkling bran over your food. Uh, excessive sodium causes you to urinate out calcium. A high acid load, so a meat-based diet, can cause you to lose more calcium. Alcohol, caffeine, both can cause you to urinate out more uh, calcium. Uh, and then positive impact we see with vitamin D and with adequate protein. If you consume a thousand milligrams of calcium all at once, you'll absorb just maybe 15%. But if you eat little bits in foods over the course of the day, 
you'll absorb a lot more. The most calcium concentrated legumes would be tofu, tempeh, soybeans, navy beans, white beans, great northern beans, and black turtle beans. In the vegetable category, it's the low oxalate greens. In the fruit category, it's dried figs, oranges, and grapefruits. So they will contain maybe 50, 60 milligrams of calcium per fruit. Uh, grains, the, the best calcium sources are amaranth and tortillas made with calcium. And in the nuts and seeds, almonds, chia seeds, poppy seeds, and sesame seeds tend to be the winners. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and subscribe for more upcoming videos.